Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this uh, video series from. Today we're going to get on to the Exchange server and we're going to see how to set up a mailbox retention policy for your recipient mailboxes in Microsoft Exchange 2019. So let's get started. If you are new here, kindly subscribe. If you are a returning user, I do really appreciate you. Thank you so much for supporting. So let's get started. And um, you'll be asking like, Peter, why are we going to configure the mailbox retention policy? Just very quick. If you don't have any idea what that means and why we are doing this, uh, this is the kind of set of policy that help not only admin they, it helps organization to manage email by specifying how long they want to retain that email and also what do they want to do with that email after the specific period is met so the reason why people do this or the reason why admin set up this kind of policy is because they want to manage their storage what I mean is that, for example, if you're like me, that you get like an email with a lot of attachment every day, your inbox can actually get filled up on time. So you can use this uh, retention policy to automatically delete the item after a certain period of time. It's not going to delete it, but it's just going to keep it somewhere because you can actually recover it back. So another reason why administrator or company want to use this is because of compliance reason. For instance, if you work with a financial institution, you might be required by law to keep all your email communication for five years. So retention policy allow your organization to automatically comply with these regulations by just setting a rule that retain all the email for the specific period of time. Another reason why you want to do this is for legal requirements. Let's say in case of legal proceeding, organization may be required to proceed email communication. So you can use the retention policy to ensure that all this email is available if needed. So with that being said, if you navigate to the Exchange Center and you go to compliance management this too is actually necessary without setting up the tag you won't be able to do the policy so how does this work if you go to the recent uh, retention tag just by looking at it you can get some information right here it said they are visible to end user and can be used to specify when items in user's mailbox will be moved to the archive or removed from the mailbox. So what are they referring to here is that if you set up something like, okay, this is just a name, the type is going to be personal and the retention policy, the retention days is going to be 30 days. And what is going to happen after that is to delete. Let me show you something. If I click on edit, I can take a look uh, of what is going on here. So they give it a name and they said, once the retention period, like the email item or the attachment that you have reached 30 days, this should be deleted from your inbox. So that is what this is saying right here. So how does this work? Let's go ahead and create our own. I'm just going to call it the d1 so that is day one that means that if any email in our inbox is already day is already one day old i want that email to be deleted you don't want to do this in uh in production where you don't receive or user don't receive a lot of emails like that one day is very small so you might want to apply the one week delete or one month so once you create your retention tag you're going to see it here and you want to create a retention policy so i've already created one but i'm going to create another one called 
D1. Or you can just modify the, the default one, but it's the same. The idea is to add the retention tag right here and look for the one that we created. And that's it. Click on save. So how do we apply this to the user's mailbox? We have to go to the recipient and select the user we want this to apply to. We click on edit. We go to mailbox usage where we see a lot of option. No, I'm sorry. It's supposed to be the future. So <laughs> in some exam, I, I have actually seen a question that uh, what is the difference between the mailbox usage and features? So in the features, we have a settings and we want to scroll down a little bit to retention policy. Drop down and we select the day one and click on save. Okay, give us a one and we're just going to click OK. So what is going to happen to this email? Let's go ahead and log in. I'm going to sign out from this user one. I'm going to put user two. So let's remember that any mailbox, I mean, any email that user two receive more than one day ago, supposed to disappear from this mailbox. So this mail was actually received like uh, last week. Based on the rules that we have actually set up, this email is supposed to disappear. But it's not disappearing right now because we haven't started the we haven't started like uh, the policy is not applied. I mean, it's applied, but it hasn't run yet. So how do we do that? Let's go ahead and the management shell. You know, you can play around and first of all, you want to play around with get retention. Get retention policy tag just to make sure that your policy tag is showing up yes it's showing up right here so you also want to play around with the retention policy that you created yes it's showing up right here so how do we know which policy is applied to this user so you can play around like get mailbox You know, you specify the identity and you specify user to add study with peter.com. Okay. We want to get some something additional and we want to select objects. We want to retention. policy now it's telling us that there's no policy applied to this user which is not true because we just did the let's go ahead and check it mailbox future retention policy all right let's do it again okay you might see these in your own environments, don't panic. So what we wanted to do here is to actually uh, start the manage folder assistance so that this can run. Let me go back to my inbox because we still have that old email right there. So we want to start the manage for the assistance, we we'll specify the identity and I'll be user to So let's see what happened on the left hand side. This email is supposed to disappear. So let me play around with uh, you see that 
that email disappear because now the retention policy is actually applying to any email that is older than one day so if you go over here you can only see not even the sent item don't see anything so this email is empty because of that policy that we apply so that is how we are able to see if this works or not so with that being said i would like you to go ahead and try it in your in your environment to see if that really works for you i really thank you so much for staying to the end of this video and that is how we set up our mailbox retention policy for our recipient email inside microsoft exchange server 2019 thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye bye for now